Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Now today we have some good news. Several pieces of good news. Firstly, I have cleaned the silage pit over here. And I've sold the silage. So that's going to the bank account. Secondly, if we take a look over here, you can see we have our sheep, which is nothing new. We, we've had sheep for a while, but I only bought 10. And if we take a look on the animal page, you will see we have 15. We have the 10. 17 month old ones and five four month old ones so obviously we've got some lambs and uh yeah that has filled the capacity of the enclosure we can only actually fit 15 into here so we have reached the limit time to expand but yeah sadly i don't think we can afford the next enclosure let's take a look here animals sheep no fifty-one thousand pounds you can have 25 sheep in there it does have a building which is nice for them and then 92,000 for a 65 sheep capacity. Failing that, we could have another 26. But, yeah, it would be nice to have a building. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that. We're, get, we're gathering more wool. More honey. actually have some honey over here. So, quite a bit to sell very soon. Oh, the greenhouse. I forgot. I think I did change it back to store. So, I probably need to sell it sell these strawberries and maybe we should do something different yes look at that we've got 5608 liters change the output mode to selling and they'll sell uh, and then i think maybe when it's empty we'll uh, start growing something different like tomatoes or lettuces although it doesn't make a difference really um, if we're not going to be using the products for a production like i said the strawberries are for cake the topping for a cake anyway the next piece of good news is the sorghum crop. It's ready to harvest. Here's a closer look at it. This is my very first crop of sorghum. So we're going to get on with that. And then this field needs to be stone picked. I believe you can use a roller as well. Um, and that might, yeah, I think it's a 5% yield increase. Okay, right, so what we're going to do then is get that trailer on the back of the tractor. Just head over here. We'll get it parked alongside the field in preparation for the combine. Where should we put it? I think probably just over here. Maybe keep it on the track. We need enough space to manoeuvre. Okay, that should be fine. And then into the combine. Here we go. And I'm going to try and keep a, a neat yard. We could do with another small shed, but of course, that's not really the priority. As we need our money for other stuff. And you might be interested in seeing what's currently in the used machinery market. I'm very interested to see. We have two things. A meadow roller, which I think increases yield. Yep, improve yield of grass fields. And also this Super B trailer which was there yesterday we don't need that so nothing to help us out today well not at the moment anyway there might be something later oh look I just crushed that piece of the crop we can't be doing that okay let's get into here Straw is not available for this current crop side, so we're chopping. That does seem to be filling up quite quickly. This field is 100% fertilised. That gives us a nice added bonus. But I think it's going to have to be ploughed as well. I don't think this field is... Uh, yeah. It must be red on the map. Let me take a look. Needs ploughing. Okay. Field 40. Yes. It needs to be ploughed. So I think really it's not taken that long to get to the stage where I've sown the sorghum and then we're now harvesting it. I didn't realize you cut it so high, I thought it would be cut lower. 
you leave quite a bit behind. But it's good to see. Next thing we're going to have to look at is the price. I wonder how much sorghum is for a thousand litres. You can see the paint wearing off on the uh, the auger feed mechanism in the header. Okay, just set that going. Take a very very quick look. Sorghum. Uh, we have got a best price just here. Oh no, sorry, just here. That's the train. Uh, we will have to pay for the train. 1,337. If you have enough, it's definitely going to pay off. But I think it's a thousand pounds an hour to rent the train, so it's probably not going to be worth it this time round. Yeah, I think we'll just go for the best sell point, which isn't the train. And that grass field over there, that needs to be harvested again. It needs to be cut. So I think with the profits that we make from this, we're going to try and buy a mower. Because before we had to rent the mower, we had to rent the windrower. And we rented everything else as well that was incorporated into that, the loading wagon. Although I think maybe this time I'd prefer to do silage bales. If we could make silage bales, we could probably do really well out of it. So we'll see. Some things will still have to be rented, we just don't have the money. I could take out a loan, but I, I'm not really keen on doing that. It'll probably give me a false impression of how much money I really have. I'll just keep psychologically thinking that we have more than uh, we, we really have, because it's the bank's money. So it's best, I would say, for me, not to do that. But the option is there. Okay, well, I'm going to crack on, get this done, and uh, we're 50% full, so we'll be unloading next time we get back to the tractor. I'm going to go two laps of the headland, and then we can start going up and down the field. There we go, sorghum. The sorghum harvest is almost over. I wonder if it's going to be worth keeping hold of the sorghum and selling it when the price is better, or maybe this is the best price. I'm going to have to check the map, the fluctuation map, so we can see. But it looks like we're going to have another 70% for combine tank in here. Seems pretty good. But yeah, we do need some. Uh, substantial money before we can start making a profit on the grapes, which I really want to do. One day, we'll turn a huge profit on them. It's just going to take time. Obviously it'll be a big help when we actually own all the machinery. Right, so why don't we just put a bit more into there. Let's take a look. Or is it full? I'm sure there's a bit of space. Is it actually full? Exactly full. It is. <laughs> okay. Right. So... Let's take a look at some of these fluctuations. Right, so about January, February, March is the time to sell. It is now August. August being here. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at that. It makes sense though, the harvest time. There's gonna be a lot of, uh, well, not much demand, a lot of people supplying. So we're just gonna wait, we're gonna put it into storage. It will probably be worth twice the price 
in a few months time and since we're doing one month per day it's only a few days time a few episodes time there's just no point trying to rush it because we're just basically paying for time right so we'll tip that it almost looks like dressed seed from here the same sort of colour but you can see it's very different in here we'll go back for the final bit the money has been increasing that's from the greenhouse yeah that greenhouse has already paid off it's been a great buy we could get another one I'm not sure exactly how full this is going to be. Looking promising. Very good. 70%. Right, let's tip that. So, yeah, it's going to be the grass field, which needs to be prioritised next. I need to also figure out exactly which crops I'm going to be putting into these two fields. In it goes. Okay. So with that tipped, let's take a look. We have 13,649 litres. Prices clearly are going to increase. And here is the crop calendar. Green is planting, so we're looking out for green. We can put canola in. I don't think we want to, though. Uh, next episode, we can put in barley or wheat. Grass or seed radish. We can put poplar in now, but yes, I don't think we're in a position to do poplar. Oh, actually, how much are wood chips worth? I've been dying to know. Wood chips. 305. The price, again, is at its lowest. So, if that's the lowest sort of prices that we get for wood chips, maybe wood chips are going to be worth doing eventually. Maybe they're going to get up to about five or six hundred pounds. That'd be great. Anyway, yes, um, we could put canola into this side, and then put a different crop into that side. There's no rush. We can put the crops in in the spring. But what I will do is get this field cultivated. The worker can do that. Uh, because then when we come to stone pick, we can do both of them at the same time. Okay, so we just fold the combine up. I do need to tidy this area where I currently have the tractor, the, the um, stair tractor. I also need to start stacking the honey crates onto a trailer nice and neatly. And we're going to park this over here. As you'll have seen since the first episode, there's been straw bales in this shed. I could sell them. Clearly, we don't need them anytime soon. Uh, we do need that, though. Yes, they're going to need to have some hay. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to very, very quickly tidy up this area, give the sheep some hay. And then we can start looking into doing this grass field. If we can do this whole grass field as silage bells, there should be some really good profits there. Again, silage. Prices are currently not great, but they will be great in a few episodes' time. Brilliant. The timing is actually really good.
I'm just going to store this trailer over here. The next load we do with it is going to be honey, so we'll just get it filled up. Instead of just doing one pallet at a time, we'll just get a full trailer load of honey, and it'll be much more impressive and easier. We have to keep going every time. Uh, so yeah, I probably should have uh, put the spawn point for the honey in a bit of a different place. It's a bit tight there, opposite the uh, the sheep, but it could be worse. Hello, what do we have here? Hmm, no idea. Anyway. So, we need to move on. We must move on. This is where we can make money. So this is my focus. It was fertilized, it's actually fully fertilized, so this is gonna be a really good uh, cut. There are my grapes, they seem to be doing okay. Yep, they're growing. Yeah, they're doing very, very well. You can see the little grapes. Still green, the bunches of grapes. The one over here might be a bit more established. There was one which was ahead for some reason. Um, okay, they seem to have all caught up. Yep. So yeah, mowers. Uh, mowers. Nothing else in the used machinery section. Is it worth buying or renting? I think... Uh, we can't... We can, just about, and I really mean just about, afford to buy this mower and this mower, or this mower and that mower. That one is 2.4 metres, that one is 3.1. Okay, so we could go for these two. Absolutely. We wouldn't have any money left, though, or very little. But we can't keep renting stuff. Let's see the other options here. Yep. Yes, it is pretty much these two. Or we could just get the one rear one. Uh, actually, that might make a swath, so that could be better. But it's a gamble, because I don't know if it's going to make a swath or not. Not to mention that's only 4 metres, and just this single rear one here is 4.4 metres, so... L let's go for it. I, I wanted to buy them used, but... I've not seen any mowers come up used yet, so we can't really wait all day. We'll just have to rely on the honey or something. <laughs> or we could do a contract. Anyway, let's use the voucher. It is the obvious one to use. See you over at the store. Or not, actually. I've just got an achievement. Field trip. I think this next load of silage, these bales, are going to solve our financial problems because I'm going to sell them when the price is right in the winter time, uh, when it's great demand for them. We're just going to have to do a few jobs for other people if we get desperate for money, because I need to rent a windrow. Uh, I've just done it again. Sorry. Yeah, I need to rent a windrow, and I need to rent the baler. And the baler alone is going to be pretty expensive. Failing that, actually, I do have... Uh, yes, I have that bag lift to sell. We don't need the bag lifter, because I can use the pallet fork. It works perfectly, so that is something we can sell to fund renting the other things. But yeah, this is it. This, this should be the end of these super low bank account figures and obviously we still have the money from the sorghum guess I just set the Matty Ferguson tractor off on a worker just because we've done quite a bit of uh, cultivation work already in this series and it shouldn't cost me too much and yeah as we're probably not going to be drilling until next spring we'll put the drill away that's a thought we could also sell the header trailer because as you'll know all of our fields are together here I'm probably not going to do any harvesting contracts with this machine it would take a long time so yeah we could we could get rid of the header trailer it'd be extra money but it's nice that we start with that. It's definitely a good thing that we started with it. Okay. I will set the worker off on this side. Obviously I could set the worker to drive here. But yeah, might as well just do it. As it's so close. A great system though. If you're the other side of the map and you want it to go to a particular field. 
and start doing a job for you. There are the rocks, they're going to have to be picked out of there later. Okay. We have our lovely new mowers. But it will certainly need to be windrowed. Try and keep this nice and neat. If we were just using the front mower, we could just bale that swath, but it would take a very long time. Yeah, realistically, we do need a windrow. Okay, and I should, if I put it to front, I should be able to lift both mowers one after another. There we go, that's good. It might be worth mowing the headland again as well. We could do every field, but this is the priority. This field, this grass is very productive. Top quality stuff. Oh yeah, and we can't afford to plough. So we're just going to have to miss out on that periodic ploughing for this time. But eventually, we will be able to. Well, here we are, on the final part. You can tell it's yielded more, there's much more grass about. And yes, I need to work out some prices, I need to see some prices for a bigger windrow rental and bigger baler, a baler wrapper. Well, it's going to be the class uni baler. Is it called the uni wrap? Something like that. Uh, that's going to be great. Gonna be really great to have. I wonder how many bells we'll be able to make. I know that you can only go up to about 150 centimeters. You can't go to the biggest bale if you're wrapping, uh, but that should still be quite good. It's probably like six or seven thousand liters per bale. Okay, so I'm going to fold up that rear mower, and I'm going to keep the front one switched on. It's just going to go up here. Should be able to fit the baler up here. Tidies the place up a bit. Keep it neater. Yeah, there's lots and lots of grass. So now we need to have the windrower. That's good. And we can come back to this anytime because we are obviously keeping the mowers. Which is a nice thing to be able to say. Master Focus and Tractor is about halfway through the cultivation, so that's good. Uh, we need to go and sell the bag lifter and the header trailer. And it's going to clear a bit of space. I think I will sell those straw bales as well when we get a minute. It's getting a bit too congested. Yeah, I'll put this down here. Because what we need to do is put that where the header trailer is. Let's just see here. How much money is it worth? Five two seven. Probably a bit more if we take it to the store. Seven four nine for the header trailer. Okay. Sell. Uh, what was that going to be? Uh, Eight two four. See so, ya. Yeah. 
Let's put it up a bit. All of our tractors are actually worth loads. Okay, so into... Yeah, still no use stuff. Yeah, into this category here. Windrows. It would be nice to have something like that. 994. Okay, that's acceptable. And as for the baler, that's going to be more. Okay, uh, where does it say? Because I... We just don't have enough money. Okay. So we know we don't have enough money. Not sure exactly how much it is to rent. Probably does say somewhere. But first things first, the windrower. Once we do have enough money to do the uh, bailing and wrapping, we've succeeded. Because it's all money from then onwards. Those bells are going to be worth loads. Look at that, the Massey Ferguson's almost finished. It's right at the end. Just take a look. See, it does get on with it. I don't think we need to change our cultivator at the moment. Obviously a bigger one is nice, but it's not essential. I know that working around this uh, sheep pen is a bit tricky. Uh, that's a good working with. Very, very nice. Okay, right, so I'm going to go around the headland first of all. Then I'll go up and down the field. And then we need to just sell enough stuff to be able to afford to rent the baler. Then we can get it belled, and then we can start the fermentation process. I don't know yet if the bells are instantly converted into silage, or if they are, if they have to be left to ferment. But yeah, it's a good big swath. We'll go down the left-hand side of the vineyard. See how the grass is being flung round into the centre by the rakes. And that's where we don't crash into the vineyard. <laughs> Almost. And we don't hit the traffic either. There we go. This isn't fertilised here, so that's just going to be a bonus. Get back to where the sheep are. Try and keep all this grass in the field margins. Wow, I really have brought it out, haven't I? Well, we can always pick up the odd bit with a baler. And there we go. Lap number one completed. Hello, sheep. Oh, this is some really dense grass. That swath is massive. This is a good time to predict how many bales we're going to get out of this. I will set it to the maximum we can do for wrapped bales. So I think it is 150 centimetres. I will have to clarify this uh, when we actually get the baler. But I'm going to guess at 10 bales. I think 10 bales would be very impressive anyway. So I'm going to say 10. Very hard to predict. 
as it always is. Uh, I'm nearly always wrong, so it tends to be less than what I say. So probably more like eight. Oh no, crashing into the vineyard. Can't be demolishing that yet. <laughs> Haven't had a single grape off it. Right then, so we'll just get that final piece. And then, yeah, the time has come to source the money to get the baler. I probably could afford to rent the loading wagon again and put it all into the pit. But we've done that already, and I, th I think it's going to be more manageable anyway to create the bales. Okay. That'd be good enough. Any little bits I can get with the baler. So it's unfortunate that I have to return this straight away because uh, it's just one field, but as we're not a very big farm, we have nothing else to do. So I can feel it. This this series is going to be just like Series 2 of Survival Challenge. We're going to go from not really progressing much to suddenly progressing really quickly and having loads of equipment. Just finish this. The worker didn't do that piece down there for some reason. And I feel a good way of progressing faster is to sell a tractor, because we never use three tractors at the same time. Maximum of two. We have four tractors, so uh, yes, I think we should sell one. I'm very tempted to put a front load onto this tractor and then sell the stair tractor, because it's a lower horsepower tractor. Don't think it would make sense to get rid of a medium-sized tractor. Okay, there we go. I'll go and put this back in the shed. And I want to just mention something. You might have noticed in my first couple of episodes it was lagging a bit. Uh, that issue seems to have just disappeared. So giants are patching the game all the time, which is great. I've already downloaded loads of different updates. And this is the pre-release version. As you can see, it is running very smoothly. If you do see a stutter every time the scene changes, that's my recording software. Sometimes whenever I start a new clip, it will just do a very quick stutter. The same with the sound. The, the sound seems to make a little uh, crackling and pop sound every now and then too. I can probably change the settings. Okay. Shame we don't get a discount for not using it for the <laughs> amount of time that we borrowed it for. Uh, yeah, least items is this category. We used it for 0 0.1 hours. Good grief. Um, and yes, how much is it? It's not going to tell me, is it? So uh, I need to just make some money. Do we have any more honey? The greenhouse must be selling. Might be worth putting that back onto store. I do like selling it in bulk loads. 107. Okay. Don't want to sell the sorghum. Will the honey be enough? We should probably get some more hives. Well, it is the only thing we have available. Unless I sell a tractor. We'll try it. We'll definitely try it. Oh, we have the bales, of course, yeah. The straw bales. Those will take a bit of time there to load up again, so I'll probably do that next time. I did want to take a full load of honey, but it's the way it is. That we, we just have to sell it now. <laughs> There's not really an option. At least it's not just one pallet. There are two full pallets and two quarter full pallets. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, no. Ah, oh, oh, I've put it right through the crate. My day is getting worse. It's alive! Problem sorted. So I'll get it back onto the pickup truck. We'll take it over to our usual cell point. I think it's the same place. Put a load of straps over them. Just find the place for it. Uh, honey. Best price is in March, April. Yeah, prices just seem low at this time of year, but the farm shop is the best place. Yeah. 
Yeah, you never know, there might be a thousand pounds worth here. And you wouldn't have thought it would cost more than three thousand eight hundred pounds to rent. I would be surprised. This is a very pretty part of the map. Very, very pretty. It always is though, whenever you have water and trees. Very good looking. And out here it really opens up. Does this remind me of the um, sort of layout of FS11? Obviously not the graphics of FS11. Which is good. Brings back a lot of memories. Come on, a thousand pounds. Five eight three. Oh no. Stubborn. We've got a stubborn pallet. There it goes. Four three six. Wow. Uh, that was very good. So that actually was over a thousand pounds. I think. Roughly a thousand pounds. So how much is it going to cost us? Is there a... Yeah, there's no alternative um, for that sort of thing. We don't have enough money. We must be so close. It looks as though it might be 125 for standard unwrapped. Is it a single size baler? Looks like it might be. Okay then, well this is a bit of a pickle. What else can we sell? As this episode is now getting quite long, what we're going to do is we're going to load up some bales, we'll sell them, and then in the next episode we'll do the baling, but it'll still be this in-game day. And then we'll move on to the next in-game day in the same episode. The reason why I'm not going to sleep before we bail is because we're not moving on a day, we're moving on a month. So it'll be September. This essentially is exactly a month from the next day so whatever you say whether it's the 1st of August or the 15th of August it's going to be the same it'll be the 1st of September or the 15th of September one day per month I'm going to probably not sell every single one as I said we might be getting some animals cows so we need to have something but we can make some more and we shouldn't need to we shouldn't need to sell everything just to be able to afford to rent this baler because we've already got three thousand nine hundred and two pounds. So I will see you when I'm done. That should be enough. Not neatly stacked. But it would get us uh, oh wow, it's thirteen thousand three hundred litres that. Now I just need to find straw. There it is. 122, wow, the price is really down. Really down, that is so bad. Uh, 122 over at the BGA. Please don't tell me we're not going to get paid until midnight. We are, aren't we? We can't really take the risk. Okay, let's go and put this into the livestock market sell point. Hundred and ninety. That's not gonna bring us anything of interest at the moment. Yeah, I'll see you over there. The next episode is gonna be out today anyway, so just like a continuation of this episode. Ah oh, lovely. That has to be enough. It has to be. It was four thousand and three. Yes, we do want to rent it. So we are left with 1,083. I guess we're really paying for the privilege to be able to use such a, a nice piece of equipment. Take advantage of it as much as possible. Don't think we have anything else to bail, though. Um, yeah, uh, well, maybe we could do a contract, actually. It is August. We'll see. Anyway... This is going to be the end of this episode, but like I said, the next episode is coming out today, so um, yes, it won't be long. We're going to bail that, get it wrapped, uh, as it's a, possibly 125 
centimeters uh, fixed for each bale. We probably gonna have much more than ten bales, but this is the baler. Be a shame not to see it in this episode. So uh, there we go, the Uni Wrap four five five Roland, and we'll be using that straight away when I return. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.